welcome back to my latest artwork video and I apologize for the delay but uh, this piece is actually drawn on A2 and it took me about 40 hours which was over the course of about a month I was away for a couple of weeks with work and what have you so yeah 40 about 40 hours to do this I wanted to draw both the Pennywise so the 1990 and the 2017 versions together and yeah so um just talking you through it really so obviously the one he has like the water tower i think it was the building and the other one had the haunted house now when i did the 1991 the one i'm drawing now i wanted to draw it slightly faded and almost a little blurred to represent sort of vhs which is how i first saw this film way way back when which was in vhs and when i got over to drawing the 2017 one as you'll see shortly i drew it uh, darker and with much sharper pencils a lot of sharpening pencils to give it more of the hd 4k effect which is how i how i saw that so um yeah, there's, there's a couple of other little Easter eggs and things I put in, which I'll get to shortly. But um, yeah, so here's the Tim Curry one here. And uh, I felt this came out very well. I was very pleased with with how this one turned out. So um, yeah, that's it for this one. I'll be back in a second to talk about the other half of the drawing. So here with the 2017 Pennywise, starting with the balloon there, instead of just doing normal reflections on the balloon, I actually did the three dots there to represent the deadlights. I thought that was quite a good nod to the to the film sort of thing. And uh, I, I must admit, I like the way it looked, and I thought any Pennywise fans will, will recognise that straight away, hopefully. And the 2017 Pennywise himself, I mean, the face area, I felt, came out extremely well and, and it wasn't at all difficult to do at all however the the robes on the 27 pennywise were really quite complex and difficult certainly far more complex than the haunted house which you can see i'm drawing at the moment which i really enjoyed drawing that i i was really a little bit angsty about doing the house behind him but came out really well and yeah these robes these robes caused me far far more of a headache to do but i think overall they they came out looking okay i think uh, both the pennywises came out looking okay you'll you obviously you'll have to let me know what you think Finally, moving over to the central area, I wanted to include the storm drain and, of course, the SS Georgie there because it's such a poignant part to, to both films and, obviously, it was the, the killing of Georgie which brought the gang together and led to the demise of both Pennywises. The hand reaching out of the storm drain, I know, didn't happen in the film. That's actually a nod to the Prime One Studio statue that, which was done, which was actually on the 2017 Pennywise, which was an incredible statue. So that was just a nod to that. And then I just wanted to do show sort of a storm happening above it and have that as a almost like a ripped out central part. And here we've got a compilation of the photographs I took. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of the photos. I don't know what I did. I lost some of the video footage and some of the photos over the sort of the four or five weeks that I was doing this drawing. And sadly, the, these photographs are all that are left. But hopefully you've enjoyed this drawing. And please let me know in the comments what you think to it as well. And uh, I'll be very soon, I'll be cracking on with my next project. So I'll have that video out sometime in the future and i'll leave you here with the with the finished piece of work and as i say i hope you enjoy it and please let me know what you think and i'll i'll catch you on the next video thank you for watching